Hi all, in this video, I will show you guys ways to use ASUS color space on different color sands provided on DaVinci Resolve and their pros and cons. So let's jump into this video. First method will be to use ASUS color space in DaVinci YRGB color sands. So for this, open your project settings, color management, color sands, set it to DaVinci YRGB, change the timeline color space to SSCC. We are doing this because we want all the tools on DaVinci Resolve color tab to work in SS color space. So for the output color space, set it to the color space that you need to output your file to and save the project settings. What we have done till now is to convert the color tab tools to SS color space. Now to use ASS color space for grading, open color tab, on our node tab, create a node, add ASS transform OFX plugin to the node or you can use color space transform plugin. If you are using ASS transform plugin, fill the details like this, ASS version 1.3, on your input transform, select your videos color space and on the output transform, set it to ASS CC. And if you are using color space transform, on your input transform and input gamma, change it to your videos color space and gamma. And on output, set it to ASUS AP1 and gamma as ASUS CC. After that, create a new serial node and add the same OFX plugin that you added before. ASUS transform or color space transform. Then set this option. For ASUS transform, ASUS version as 1.3. Input as SSCC and on output, set it to the output color space that you need. And on the color space transform, set the input space as SSAP1, input gamma as SSCC and output transform and output gamma to the output color space that you need. Now everything you do in between these two nodes will be in SS color space. So you can do your grade on there. Also, sometimes if you use ASUS color space OFX plugin, the brighter part may clip sometimes. At those times, change the gamut compress type from none to ASUS or vice versa. Now for the pros and cons, as we are manually converting the color space to ASUS space with the nodes, we can still work outside of ASUS color space. Second pro is that if you are using Fusion, you can work like normal without any issues. Integration with the Fusion is better on this method. Cons of using this method is that it is a little bit time consuming as we are doing it in a node basis. Now for the second method that is on DaVinci YRGB color managed color sans. Open project settings, color management, change color sans to DaVinci YRGB color managed. Untick automatic color management. On color processing mode, set it to custom. Change input color space to your video's color space. It does not matter that much as we can manually change it from the meter pool or from the color tab clip section. Another thing is that DaVinci will automatically set the correct color space for the video that you added to the DaVinci. On timeline color space, change it to SSCC and on output color space, set it to the output color space that you need. Save the project settings and that's it. Now whatever grade you do on the color tab will be in SS color space. And to manually set the input color space, right click the clip on the clip section of the color tab or from the media pool and select input color space and set the input color space. Pros of using this method is that it is easiest way to use SS color space in DaVinci Resolve as we don't need to use any nodes or any OFX plugin and it can also automatically detect the input color space. About the cons, I didn't really find any issue with this method so it's a good way to use ASUS color space. Lastly, the third method is by using the ASUS color sans. For this, open project settings, color management, from the color sans, choose the one you prefer. SSCC or SSCCT. Set the SS version to 1.3. Input transform, set it to your video's color space. 
लाइक एबो वी कैन मैनुअली सेट इट फ्रॉम द क्लिप सेक्शन और फ्रॉम द मीडिया पोर्ट आउटपुट ट्रांसफॉर्म सेट इट टू द आउटपुट कॉल स्पेस दैट यू वांट आफ्टर यूजिंग दिस सेटिंग्स इफ यू आर फेसिंग हाईलाइट्स क्लिपिंग ऑन योर फुटेज यू मे वांट टू एनेबल और डिसेबल द एसएस रेफरेंस गैमेट आल्सो यू कैन मैन्युअली चेंज द एसएस रेफरेंस गैमेट फ्रॉम द मीडिया पोल और फ्रॉम द क्लिप टैब इन द कलर पेज सेव द सेटिंग्स नाउ योर एंडर डायमेंशन रिसोल्व विल रन इन एसएस कॉल स्पेस Pros of this method is that your entire DaVinci will run in SS color space and the cons of using this method is that first con is that if you got lot of footage from different color space on your timeline then you need to manually set the input color space and the thing is that if you are using fusion you will face issues with the fusion because fusion works in linear color space and resolve got a bug from converting the ss color space to linear color space and vice versa so you will face some bugs on there we can manually fix this bugs i made a separate video about that that will be linked in this video so that's all about this video guys i hope you guys find this video useful if you do so hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe